Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing extremely well. And this is a very on mass code at this side. So today we will be solving yet another problem of GFGP OTD that is user circuit in an undirected graph. So let us see what does the problem say. Okay. So before proceeding to the problem, I want you to know, I want to know that how many uh, people here that are, that are watching my video have played this game. For those of you who do not understand what this game is, the game suggests that you have to start from this node right or any other you can start from this you can start from this you can start from this right and what you have to do is you have to draw the box exactly like that like something like this i go here 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 right but at the end you can see that i have left out without drawing this edge right the condition is you have to draw exactly same figure exactly same figure but the condition is you cannot lift your pen like while drawing you cannot lift your pen and second condition is you cannot make a edge twice right that is if i'm landing here I cannot lift my pen and go here and then draw this or I cannot go like this and then draw this right these two conditions are not valid otherwise I have to imitate the exact figure I have to imitate the exact figure today's question is exactly same right it is not a bit different it is exactly the same you have been given a figure you have been given a figure in form of a graph right in form of a graph and you have to tell whether it is possible to draw, to, draw the graph, to draw the graph from something like this, right? Okay. So now let us formalize it. We have to give terms like Euler path, right? So what is the meaning of Euler path, right? What is the meaning of Euler path? So Euler path says that Traverse each edge exactly once. Traverse each edge exactly once. That is the only property of Euler path. So, for example, you have a graph something like four connected to three, connected to two, something like this, and zero, you connected to one, right? Now, if I try to imitate this graph. You can see that if I start from here, get from 4, and I go here, 1, 2, 3. Not possible because I have to traverse all the edges again, the 4 to 3 edges again to uh, cover up 0 and 1. So that is not a possible option. Another possible option is I start from 1, I go to 0, I go 0 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 2, 2 to 3. Oh, wait. You can see that all the edges are explored. All the edges are explored. So one of my Euler path is 1 to 0, 0 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 2. Right? You can see all the edges are explored. So that is your Euler path. That is your Euler path. So you were able to observe that for same graph, from same graph, when we chose 4, we did not get an uh, Euler path, right? We did not get an Euler path. But when we tried out 1, starting from 1, we were able to get a Euler path, to get a Euler path, right? That is the case only, right? When you start starting from 4, you can, you can you could have observed that you were not able to get a Euler path. But when are we traveling from 1, you can see that we received this Euler path, right? Okay. So this was our observation 1. That for same graph, when we chose 4, we did not get a Euler path, but for 1, it gave us a Euler path. So what does it mean? It means that, let me change, yeah. It means that, 
for user path starting point matters right starting point matters now the algorithm is which the people which divide the algorithm or the nomenclature or different things they said that we don't we want say another thing that we want another thing right so they, they demanded that we want to define another term such that it is irrelevant from which node we start our traversal from which node we start a traversal right so you can see the starting from 4 and starting from 1 was giving different results it was 4 was returning false while 1 returned true right the scientist wanted to discriminate to end this discrimination right they wanted whether i start from 4 whether i start from 1 it should return true if it is true right so they don't they wanted their user path to be uh what do we say to be irrelevant of the starting point right so for example you have a graph something like this zero connected with one connected with two something like this right so is this a user path you would say if i start from zero something like this would work like right? zero to one to two yes it is returning true if i start from one it is 1 to 2 to 0 again true if I start from 2 it is 0 it is 2 0 and 1 right again true so you could see that all of them are written in your path right it is irrelevant of the starting point right it is irrelevant from the starting point one of the things you can observe is that if i start from zero i'm going to one going to two coming back to zero coming back to zero so my start is also equals to end the scientists found out a way to define another term so they defined user circuit right a term known as euler circuit which says that I am a user path and second property is start is equals to equals to end I, I end at the same point where I started from right I end at the same point where I started from right so I would like you to see some more examples of user circuit so one of the example is as discussed above 0 1 2 another example is 0 1 2 3 4 this is this a euler is this does the does it contain a euler circuit so it starts from zero go here go here go here go here go here go here start is equal to ends so it is also returning true now another case is uh if i start from zero and go to one go to two go to three is this a euler circuit so if I start from 0, I go to 1, I go to 3, not a Euler circuit. Otherwise, if I go here, again, 3 is left out, so not a Euler, Euler circuit. Right? Okay. So another example is, this is returning false, right? This is returning false. This is returning true. This is returning. I'm drawing, drawing out many examples so that I can make you understand what I'm planning to do, right? Okay. So if I draw something like, uh, 0 connected to 2 connected to 1 4 3 right and then 1 connected to 2 and then 4 connected to 5 and 2 and 5 are also connected to each other right something like this and 0 connected to 4 right okay 
So is this container user circuit? So if I start from zero, I go here, 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 here, here. So it is it is also not containing user circuit, right? This was a random example in my mind. Now to get expertise on this problem, you have to make many more examples of out of your mind and then try them out. Right? So your homework is to make many examples and try them out and try them out now how to solve this problem the problem why are you actually here is you want to know how to solve this problem so my approach is based on observation that is I was drawing many diagrams my approach says count the number of edges so for zero you can see one two two edges are there for one you can see one two two edges are there for two you can see one two two edges are there right again from zero it is two edges here one two two to four two two right i am doing everything right right now for zero two one two two three and three one two has three edges and three has one edge for this two two four one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four contains uh four contains one two three four right but this contains four this contains three edges sorry one two three so my only case when i'm getting true is all of them are even you can see the observation is my only case when i'm getting true is all of them are even and when any one contains four, four or, or it returns false. That is the only problem I'm, that is the only observation I have to make is if all nodes have even edges, true. If any one of them has odd edges false right this is the only approach i have to use to solve this problem so i i think i think that you have understood what was my approach that is why i was saying that try the examples as many as you can right as many as you can okay so let's solve this problem right what is the time of necessity now what i will do is i have to give i have been given as adjacency list as input What I will do is I will traverse this adjacency list. Uh, the adjacency list is of form vector int adj. So I will traverse it, and whenever the vector size is odd, I will return false. Otherwise, at last I will return true. That is the only approach I have to do. So it is O of n number of nodes, time complexity, and space is O of one. I am not using any extra space, right? It is rather a three-line code only. So let us solve it real fast, right? So that you can also proceed with another works. So it is something like now for uh, int i equals to zero, i less than v, i plus plus. If adj of v dot size percentile two equals to equals to one return false at last return true right and let me convert it into it because it returns something different from it we have to convert it into it right compile and run i hope it works fine and giving the correct result and let's write for submit also in the meantime if you're new here don't forget to subscribe oh there has been an error 221120 one two zero what is the error here zero is connected to two is connected to one one is connected to zero Oh, it is ADG of I. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, 
So let us submit now. Hope it works fine now. So it is running fine. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching the video and hope you liked it. So our current streak is 105 days and thank you all for all this love. So signing off. We will meet tomorrow with a new question and new energy. Thank you for watching.